Jara. Hello, I am Zishan. And this video is part of our uh, lecture series where we talk about Lutein, which is an information network. This video is about a very important tool, very interesting tool called Lucene by Apache. So, Lucene is an information retrieval tool, just like Google, which is an information retrieval tool too. So, uh, Lucene performs in operations like indexing, reverse indexing, analysis on the documents that are fed to it and make those documents searchable so that we can run queries on the document just like we run queries on internet through Google. So, index in Lucene is pretty much similar to an in index in book. The index in book shows us the topics and the page numbers where they can be found. It's pretty much the similar thing, not exactly, but yeah, indexing also gave us the positional information about the terms uh, and that's really helpful in, uh, you know, searching the documents. Another uh, important and interesting uh, data structure is inverted index. So, here is an example. There are three documents and uh, you see I is mentioned on all three of them like watch and hate are mentioned only one on only one of them cricket is again mentioned on all three of them so the document the in inverted index for i and cricket will be one two and three so you see what is inverted index it is a list of document numbers where the term is present at least once that is inverted index and how that is helpful i'm going to show you in the upcoming slides this shows us the basic flow of indexing and indexing is of course one of the most important uh, steps in Lucene. So uh, every piece of data is called a document which is analyzed by token uh, which is analyzed by analyzer I'm sorry and broken down into tokens and then the tokens are indexed and stored in the inverted index and the index. So here is an example for tokenization. Cricket match is uh, the string and it is tokenized into two term vectors. So position, term and length are pretty much straightforward fields I think and offset is offset for cricket is zero because C is positioned at zeroth index in the entire string and M is positioned at eighth index in the entire string. That's why the offset for match is eight. So when I ask you what is a token you may answer that every term found in the document is a token but no that is not the case i mean what about a number or what about you know uh, special characters so hello with inverted commas and hello with full stop um, contextually they are the same thing we cannot consider them as unique terms and what about color variations i mean color or colors i'm sorry the spelling variations color or colors or fruit or fruits I mean these are the same terms uh, we cannot consider them unique and capitalization or the stop words like the, the, of and if uh, if we consider stop words in indexing then we may end up with a very bad index and we have to take care of these things so these are taken care by the analyzer now for actually calculating the score of a document uh, uh, in uh, relevance to a particular query or in context of a particular query Lucene uses TF-IDF model it's a very famous model in information retrieval so what is term frequency? suppose there is a document its number is 12 and there is a term called computer and it is mentioned 20 times on that so term frequency for document number 12 is 20 for the term computer now what is IDF suppose there are 100 documents in total and computer was present on 20 of them so IDF would be uh, 100 by 20 for the term document for the term computer in those all 100 documents and what do we do with these two terms? We calculate the score like this, TF into IDF. So, 
suppose there are three terms in a query then for each page and for each token uh, the score is calculated and then for each page the score is uh, summed for all the three tokens and the final score of that page is obtained and this is how Lucene works so let us look at an example and let us see how does IDF helps us here why don't we just go ahead with term frequency so imagine that there are 100 documents taken from a networking book the query is mail transfer protocol so since it is networking book protocol would be a very famous word and we can assume that uh, protocol is mentioned on every uh, document so you see since protocol is a very famous term in, in this context uh, if we fire a query with that term the protocol term would gain unfair advantage over other terms like mail and transfer which can which would not be present uh, uh, that many number of times so to to compensate that we use idf so idf for protocol would be much less it would be about one because it is present on almost all the pages whereas idf for mail or transfer would be much greater so this compensates for the lower term frequency of mail and transfer and mm, it also compensates for very high term frequency of protocol so you see uh, how tf-idf model balances uh, the weights and uh, performs a good search uh, an important optimization here is instead of going from page to page calculating score for all the three tokens we can just look at the inverted index of all the three tokens and determine a set of documents uh, which contains one of the tokens at least once so th th this would be really helpful if the database is too huge it con contains millions of documents or records in that case we can quickly uh, cut down to just the relevant set of documents through inverted index so you can see inverted index can make uh, search operation really really fast so yeah that's it guys uh, that's how uh, the lucene searches the document